<laughs> so give me some tea on the track and field world, honey. <laughs> Wait, once again, I got to go through these topics. I didn't know we was checking off these things. Some tea and track and field. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what's right no? now. Okay, who's who's your, your strongest competition? Oh, she just retired. Really? Um, mm -hmm. She's from Australia. So you about to get another gold. Right. Well, see, mm -hmm. the U.S. plays no games. So throughout my career, it's been Sally Pearson from Australia. Like the first Olympics, I got gold. She yeah. got silver. Yep. Second Olympics, she got gold. I got silver. Wait. First Olympics, I got gold. She got silver. Second Olympics, she got gold. I got so we switched. Basically. Okay. Um, and then and she retired. Are y'all yeah, the same she, age? She just or she she's two years younger than me. Okay. She just retired. Um, but, but then in the U.S. though, y'all got to understand these. I would just say some of them from kids, and they not playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they coming for souls. Okay. Right. And the right. thing is, that's what I've done my whole career. So for me, I welcome the challenge. You know, these younger kids. I mean, some of them that actually won the 2016 Olympics. She's not a baby. Like once you win, you get this new kind of yeah. like aura about right. you. are like, look, come, let's go. Like let's you're like line up right now, outside in the <laughs> snow. <And> you just <laughs> got that Penny love was on. Right. And her name is Brianna uh, <clears throat> McNeil. She just got married. She, I know she's ready to go. We have the current world record holder now. She just broke the world record. Wow. Record. Yeah. Listen, it's going down. Like when I line up, it's like, yo, who going home hungry tonight? I can't wait to see. Busy. That is so dope. Yeah, it is. Like, so you got to get me like the mental preparation is even listen. more fierce than the the physical. 100%, I think. Hundred percent. I mean, yeah. because also you're in the, in the warm up area where typically track me sometimes will have like say ten hurdles. It's eight girls, so even if we try and separate, you know, like you got one hurdle, no, so we got to share hurdles. So a girl in front of Ooh. me, she does her drills, and you watching, like she looking tight today. Okay, all right, all right, we're gonna do. Yeah, <laughs> you know that they're watching you, so we kind of know like she's. Some people like okay, beginning of the year, okay, they're not as fast, they're getting there. But then there's some people that's just all cylinders firing, and you're like, it's gonna be a dog fight. What do you yeah. do to prepare for that moment? Like, what do you actually do to prepare for that well, actual moment? For me, mentally, a lot of times I'm very good at visualization, so I really do kind of create the scene at track practice. So sometimes I'm warming up, I'm like, okay, you at this big diamond league race, so and so here, so and so there, you know. So I just imagine, okay, when you, when, hey, when that gun go off, you got this person to your right, this person to your left. And they're going to run about us, so you got to run. Like, I create the whole scene. Even right. sometimes where I have a bad start, where yeah. I got to walk people down, or I have a good start, they're trying to get me. Like, you have to create. So you're not really shocked. I mean. Either yeah. way. Yeah, either yeah, way. Yeah. I mean, and expect it to be a dog fight. Like, expect to feel somebody every yes. single. For 10 hurdles, do you, I mean, that's like, <laughs> you're like, somebody need to break. Because this is good. <laughs> you know, it's. Damn. So when did real. you when did you get into hurdles? Because that's not something you mm -hmm. are thrown into. Yeah, like you, no. that's something you earn to get to mm -hmm. that. When well, I see um, the eighth grade, was okay. When I, so I started running flat when I was twelve, but then hurdles in eighth grade. Okay. And what happened was my coach, his name is Gerald Nave. He actually told me he said, "I feel like with your speed and your intelligence." You could do the hurdles and be the best in the world, mm. and so yeah, he said, "Shot, girl." Right, okay, okay. You, <laughs> you, about. you better pour exactly. into these young people. Yeah. 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 he's an amazing person, and so it's funny though. When I first went over the hurdles, it was tragic. Like it was terrible. He was like, "Come here, this is not what I envisioned." Like I mean, I went over arms everywhere. He was just like, "Oh my god!" Like he's you know, and so he's like, "Come here." He told me to turn my back to him, and he pushed me, and I caught myself with my left, and he said, "Oh, you're a lefty leg," because I was going over my right. Oh. And as soon as I went over, literally, it was like butter. Like it was like I was better than everybody else on the team. Wow, yeah, he's crazy. Like, this is what I envisioned, and it was. I just I loved it. That's it, crazy I, that he girl. could he could see that. Mm -hmm. in in mm -hmm. a in a runner like yeah. let me find out your weaknesses and yeah. your strengths that's and let me play it like as yeah a coach. That's, and that's i love awesome. that that's yeah. dope yeah. some people are put on this earth to do different things yeah. you're yeah. put on this yeah. earth to run he mm -hmm. was put on this yeah. earth to, to teach you that. how yeah. to yeah, yeah. that's Absolutely. really dope Absolutely. and yeah, he's man. a east st louis native too mm -hmm. is he okay mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. look at that we just bred yeah. like beautiful yeah. talented people in this area yeah, yeah, and you always you always rep for the area too. Oh, like that's, that's important. That's the only way. Yeah. Like first of all, I'm not coming back to my people, and they be like, "Oh, you say you from where?" <laughs> no, no, East 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 St. Louis. Thank East you. Saint. Hi, yeah. you know. No, I because I love home. Like seriously, right. I, my people have given me so much, and I love to come back. You know, you right? Know, volunteer. You know, you know, donate your money sometimes. Right. You know, certain <laughs> things. And um, just when I go out, I love also. You don't want to say it like this, but the shock on people's faces when they're like. Oh, you're from East St. Um, yeah, yeah, look it yeah. up and down. Yeah. I'm from East St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, one crazy story is when I was at UCLA, uh, this guy, um, he's a basketball player. The first time we ever met, he's like, hey, my name's so-and-so. I wish I remember his name. I see his face, though. He's right. Like, on site. Oh, he an he on-site person. Like, on I'm older now, right, like on-site. Um, and so he's like, hey, my name's so-and-so. What's your name? I was like, I'm Dawn. I was like, I'm from East St. Louis. And he goes, whoa, let me check my pockets. Oh, he was like, see? Oh. Yeah, and he was like, oh, he said, you going to sh shake somebody up in here. He playing like he trying to joke. And where was he from? I don't even know. I was like, conversation was over. Like, yeah. Like, yo, you never, I was, was, you, was he I was, serious? He was, he was dead, dead serious. serious. Yeah. I was like. 
how offensive how to, can like, you be? Yo, like, I was just like, I right. like I legit, I just had to walk off. I know he was like, what happened? I was so done. Like I was a freshman, so I had never really you yeah. hear that people think that way right. about us. But you're like, I, I no, that's not I my like, experience. That's not my reality, all. right? I tell the you, community I, is so tough over I there. I was like, in Denver at a, at a nightclub, mm -hmm. and this uh, the Spanish guy bumped into me, turned around, he was all tough. He said, he was like, man, what's up? I said, man, I'm from St. Louis. Listen. I will whoop your ass. He was like, hey, the name means something. The name means something. What is that about? I don't know. Like, we from the show me and then East St. Louis is they, they feel like it worked, we, think we literally just dropping bodies. Though. They think we are out here <laughs> taking people out. We all got bodies. Right. Right. We all the Ray Lewis is other. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Once again. <laughs> I said it. She didn't. Right, because I'm like, oh. Because <laughs> we, just, we, just yeah. had, we just had this whole conversation yeah. about, you know, yeah. professional athletes who got bodies mm -hmm. out here. Right. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know punches. Right, right. I mean, but that's because we were ta also talking about rappers mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. that got bodies out here. And yeah. I mentioned the baby, mm -hmm. who we all love. We yeah. agree with she yeah. hasn't she hasn't He's grown dope. to appreciate. I got a real I didn't I didn't know. I gotta get into it. Yeah, I, I no, like that's baby. okay. That's yeah. okay. I mean that's that's my span of yeah. influence, by the way. Like I'll just keep saying stuff. People are like, let me go check. Uh -huh. I'm like, damn, she was yeah. right. Got that's you. that's just one of those things. Yeah. I just pump stuff up. And I I mean, he could prove me wrong eventually. No, I like him. Yeah, he's he's dope. Okay. Yeah, I, I like his whole the way he moves yeah. and everything, the way he's moving through this whole career yeah. thing is really dope. Even though I did notice something that I did not like, he performs. He doesn't have track uh, performance tracks. He performs with his songs. I don't like when mm. rappers do that. That's annoying. I can so rap to your song in my car. I don't right. need to pay to watch you rap oh, to your song. Right. Got it. Cut the lead vocals Absolutely. off of that track. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta rap on top of that. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta rap yeah. on top yeah. of that. I don't like that. When okay. I, I saw Meek Mill do that the first time I saw him, and I was like, he ain't ready yet. Yeah, yeah he, did, he did that on SNL, and I thought it was kind of weird. Other than that, his whole energy was still good. His energy is dope, but why do you do? Who's not telling? Like, there's no, I could not be a rapper's manager, and mm -hmm. y'all do that. Like, right. any, I'm, I'm telling y'all now, if you manage a rapper, do not allow them to rap over their songs. Like that is like somebody like me who spent 20 years in the industry. Like that's the first thing I'm looking at. I'm go mm -hmm. just going to discredit you. That's like you. the rap version of the Millie Vanilli. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it's that. It's the same thing. I don't like yeah. Like what is mm -hmm. that? Yeah. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand no, it. That's the first cool. thing I noticed. Like I don't, I think it's so unprofessional for him to be on that level. Like Jay-Z and Drake and J. Cole, they mm -hmm. not going to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. They oh, not going to no. do that. Yeah, no. Kendrick ain't going to do that. Right. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, cut it out. If you want to be mentioned in some with some of the greats, you got to come out here. You got to earn that. So I like do like the baby. These, uh, crazy bars. You know what I'm saying? It's no, not like that. no. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you can't remember your lyrics, my yeah. dude. Like, I do like them, but that's that's one strike. So <laughs> you know, I think it's so he. I'm trying to remember. He's like we discussed. He's the one that jumped on the girl. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. So I think I saw a picture because that was on TMZ when I saw they were discussing that. He also he smiles a lot, right? Uh -huh. yeah. He's got like, a little dimple. Okay, so I was about cute. to say I like that he's a rapper that smiles. You know, sometimes yeah. right. I want to be mean mug. Saying. No, he yeah. He and smiled, I'm like, okay. And he like he talking like I'll whoop your ass and then okay. he smiled. Well, we know he shot somebody like and smiled. they died. <laughs> 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 where this day is going to end <laughs> <laughs> you're like I found out too much it's too much it's too like that's much. what all his raps about like like fighting people as oh, opposed to shooting people okay you know what I'm yeah. saying so, so he, he, but he's run, really done it yeah. but yeah he'd rather just throw them hands <laughs> like yeah <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. have to fight another day. Like, yeah. can we yeah. can we get to, b at least back to that? Like, back in the day, they used to be like, meet us on the corner, my family. And they fight. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> somebody beat up. But they're like, Taboo, Taboo. It's your boy, yeah, you know, Taboo. Right. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, right. yeah, you live to fight another day. I like yeah. that. Or mm. even, like, it was a friend of mine who was telling me, like, when he was younger, he got shot at. But he was because <laughs> I didn't think that's what we. Were. I, thought you, I thought we were talking about that. No, 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 no. But I was saying what I was about to say. I think that they weren't shooting to kill. I think they used to just bust up okay, in the, the air. Okay, scared. Or, like get up out of here. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that people were. I think that the but whole don't culture those bullets have to come down. They exactly. Come down. But so I don't that's... think. I think that the culture has changed so much mm -hmm. that that's how we. We've normalized Absolutely. it. Absolutely, it's like it's one thing to have a gun mm -hmm. and to shoot the gun. Mm -hmm. Okay, what but it's another is... thing to shoot to kill. And yeah. I think that that's where we have normalized mm -hmm. it, and everybody feels like I got to get you, or you gonna get me. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's where we've misconstrued this whole well, thing. What happened is these young men has become soft, and they don't want to have to deal okay. with it tomorrow. Okay. So as opposed to dealing with it tomorrow, knowing they can't fight. Yeah. 
Okay, let's end that. That's how they doing it. Stop all that thumb tugging. It's terrible. Confused though with I can't deal with this tomorrow, but I could deal with like ten years in prison. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm like you're not thinking of the big picture. Because they don't think I got beat up. Oh, your community maybe gonna oh dude got beat up yesterday. When next week they're not gonna talk about it. But you're going to go to jail for years because you took someone's life, and now somebody want to retaliate, retaliate. And not only you gonna get beat up, but you are gonna get raped and shit. Oh, Oh, it's a whole yeah. But the people who do that, they don't see like a future outside. You're right. That's the you know, that's the I'm, biggest. I am talking from a different. You are so yeah. that, that, that they so they live great. a different they live a different reality yeah. than we do. Don't For real. So the Static Podcast is brought to you by the Hester Group, a law office with a 12 year proven track record of success. Now listen, if you've been involved in a serious car accident, you have injuries, your car is a wreck. You need to contact them because they can get you paid today. 314-652-4321. That's 314-652-4321. Two, one. Tell them Stacy Static sent you, but remember the choice of an attorney is an important one and should not be based solely upon advertisements.